Hi, I'm Jeff Stokes. Welcome to Jeff's Daily Dose of Encouragement. Today I want to encourage you to keep your chin up. In Luke 21 verse 28, it says this, Then when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draws nigh or draws near. That's the King James uh, Version speaking there. We can never hear this enough and never be encouraged enough to keep looking up, keep your chin up. The world says that, don't they? Keep your chin up to try and encourage you. You know, oh, well, keep your chin up. But we can because we have something to look up to. We have the risen Christ who, who died over 2,000 years ago to pay the penalty for our sins, but rose again from the dead. He is risen from the dead, and he is Lord, the song says, and he's seated at the right hand of God, and he is there, high and lifted up. And we are told in Hebrews 12 to look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who is seated at the right hand of God. He is there still today, very much alive. And he is coming one back one day to get his bride, to get his church, and we'll be caught up together with him in the air. So... While the world might say that to people to try and pep them up, they've got no hope and nothing to look to, but we have actually got something to look to. So when someone says, keep your chin up, you can literally keep your chin up. You don't have to be down in the mouth. You don't have to be groveling and in self-pity. You have hope. I have hope in Jesus Christ. We call it the blessed hope, that hope of <clears throat> the resurrection from the dead at the last day, but also the hope that in between that time should the Lord tarry that we will be with the Lord when we leave this mortal body when we die physically we will not die spiritually we will go to be with the Lord and then our bodies will be raised up at the last day so I can't <clears throat> encourage you enough the more and more that we, we need to hear this because the more and more the world is going down the tubes, the more and more the world is just turning to disaster and this thing's happening and that thing's happening, all negative, all the time. The world is struggling. It's struggling to deal with economic crises. It's struggling to deal with war. It's struggling to deal with disease. It's struggling to deal with weather events <clears throat> and earthquakes. There was just another big event over in China, apparently. It's constant, it's happening. And Jesus said in Matthew uh, 24 that all of these things are the beginning of birth pangs. So, you know, the time is coming. The time is coming for the Christian. But we're going to be out of here. We are going to be forever with the Lord. And then he's going to give us a new heavens and a new earth. It's just, It just rejoices my heart even thinking about it and talking about it. We have a real hope. It's not just a myth. It's not just a idea that someone made up to have some sort of power of positive thinking thing. This is a real thing that's going to actually happen. And we can look forward to that. Just like Christmas is coming. Jesus is coming. <laughs> so, you know, keep your chin up. It's all good for us. It all works out good for us. We just need to keep focusing on Jesus and on the good things of God and not what the world's doing and not our circumstances. And then we can have joy and peace, joy unspeakable. Because we have everlasting life, we have it now. And we continue to hang on to it now and forever and ever and ever. Amen. So that's my encouragement for you today. And if you'd like to experience that joy in your life and you want to have a way to just keep your chin up all the time and not get down in the mouth every time something goes wrong but you you want to have that real hope that real thing that real way to look up to keep your chin up because you're focused you can focus on something you want something real to focus on then you need to believe in Jesus Christ because he is real he did die he did rise from the dead and over 500 people actually saw him after he rose from the dead and then he went up to be with God in heaven and he is coming back one day and in the interim over the last 
2,000 years or so, he has visited people many times. The, the first one that he did was Paul the Apostle and really like blinded him on the way to Damascus. You know, it was a bright light shining out of heaven and it was him. He spoke to him. Jesus spoke to Paul, to Saul he was then. And there are many people in different countries over the world have, have experienced those sorts of things, that Jesus is alive. People have gone to heaven and seen Jesus. My wife's grandmother had that experience when she died uh, through sickness, but then came back again. So praise God. Many people have seen Jesus. He's alive. And he's coming back one day. All you need to do, to do, this is with the help of the Holy Spirit. If you really feel the Holy Spirit showing you, yes, what this man is saying is right in your heart, you know the Holy Spirit is showing you because he's real too and he will show you. The first thing he will show you is he will lead you to Jesus. He will get you to confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and then you will be saved by faith in Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit and whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God God dwells in him and he in God and he will fit you for heaven he will prepare you so that you can spend eternity in heaven he will get you and teach you so that you can keep your chin up all the time and look up for your redemption draws near God bless you have a great day